Gospel of, Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 verse 28 onwards. Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 verse 28 onwards. When he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs coming out of the tombs met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. My dear brothers and sisters, here you can see Jesus one side, another side two demoniacs, two people who are possessed by evil spirit. They were in the tombs and it is written, they were so fierce that no one could pass that way. What does it mean? They were so dangerous to live with them, to live with them. They were so irritating, disturbing, hurting, violent characters. And it was so difficult for anyone to adjust with them. You must have seen many people like this in our own families. Maybe your husband, maybe your wife, maybe your children, maybe your parents who are so fierce that no one can live with them. No one can come closer to them. No one can even speak to them. And people are even afraid to approach them. People are afraid to speak to them because they are so violent, unexpected, unpredictive. They behave so hurting. They hurt very fast. And they wound others so fast. There are so many people like this. And here you can see two, two evil possessed people who were behaving almost the same way. And what did Jesus do? We read 29. Suddenly they shouted, What have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? And what did these two evil possessed people do? They knew God. They knew Jesus. But they don't want to have any connection with Jesus. They were upset that Jesus came closer to them. They always wanted to keep a distance from God. Those people who have these kinds of evil affliction in them, those who have this kind of character, irritating, violent, disturbing, hurting character, though they know God, they will pretend as if they don't believe in God. They pretend as if they lost faith in God. They pretend as if once upon a time they were believer, but now because of so many reasons, because the priests were like these and Christians are like these, people are like these, therefore we left the faith, we lost the faith. So they will pretend as if they lost faith. But they have their own afflictions. They are possessed or afflicted by some kind of tortures, evil tortures in their mind. And this evil power, this evil spirit, these people who are with this evil spirit, they said, what have you to do with us, son of God? We know who you are, but don't interfere in our matter. Our life, your life. You may, you may have seen many people behaving like this in our own families, who has some kind of uncontrollable behavior. It's very difficult to live with them. The moment we speak about anything spiritual life, they say, I don't want to hear. I don't want to listen to that. You go on whatever you want. Don't interfere it with me. Don't tell me anything about God. I don't, I'm not interested. I lost faith in everything. These are all fraud. These are all fake. These are all nonsense. So these are the common statements that they make. Because they don't want to make any connection with God. Because they are already controlled by the evil one. Verse 13. Now a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. There were so many pigs feeding in the field very peacefully. They were enjoying their food. They were feeding themselves at a distance. And then verse 31 we read. The demons begged him. Anyway you are going to cast us out. If you are casting us out, please send us into that herd of swine. They begged in front of Jesus. They knew they cannot survive in the presence of God. This is what happens to everyone who is in the evil. 
they cannot survive in the presence of god if anyone in the family is in the pray, prayerful mode always in prayer always in connection with god that family members who are afflicted with the evil spirit cannot survive there the evil spirit cannot continue in that person it will go out of them and here these evil spirits begged in front of jesus and said if you cast us out send us into the herd of swine send us to these pigs and poor pigs they were peacefully eating and having food and now these evil spirits begged and then jesus said okay verse 32 we read when he said to them go they came out and entered the swine suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the water the whole herd of swine it was around 2000 pigs all of them decided it is better to commit suicide than carrying a evil spirit inside and they went and and sw- drowned in the water remember you can see these connections even the pigs know it is not good to have the evil spirit in them but the human beings carry the evil spirit in them for a long time so this this is the, you can see these con- these differences my dear brothers and sisters there is no evil spirit can stand in the presence of god no evil spirit can survive in the presence of god if you feel somebody in your family is very difficult to live with do not worry bring jesus into that family invite jesus into that family at least you be connected to jesus you be in the in the love of jesus when the lord's presence comes to that house these post, those people who are influential by the influenced by the evil powers cannot continue in that evil today or tomorrow they will be delivered you just believe in the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. thank you jesus thank you.